Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? Are you? Well, hello, y'all. Welcome back to another video in my series, Throwback Thursday. And this month, we are taking a visit back to the flat ride and shop, the three little pigs, and Big Bad Wolf. Oh, what did I call it? <laughs> the Big Bad Wolf. Oh, shit. Okay, I have to edit that out. The Big Bad Wolf's Barbecue. <laughs> video we are taking a look back at the three little pigs flat ride and the big bad wolf's barbecue shop let's see where this is on my workshop timeline And these two are one, even though they're two blueprints, they're one giant blueprint, having it be under 4,000 pieces. And that was impressive to me. So there's a lot that I liked about this, but then there's also some things that I didn't like about this. And let's, I, I kind of like going with the not liking things first and then ending it on a positive note. <laughs> so hopefully the cinematics gave you some good shots of the you know the the ride and the shop but mainly what I didn't like about this the flat ride was as you can tell it's flat it's a box well not really a box it's a box I don't know what kind of shape this is <laughs> it's a boxy-ish thing the facade, I couldn't think of, I, I'm really proud of the lettering and the basic shape. This is one of my really better, um, unless you go too close, then it looks kind of shit. Uh, so we'll look at it from afar. <laughs> no, but I really am proud of the basic shape pigs. They are, I just, I'm really proud that I did that. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. And the lettering of this, I, um. I'm proud of that, but that's all I could do. And I, I couldn't think of anything else to do for a facade How, back then. Now, I do have an idea of what I would do. And I'm actually kind of thinking about 
doing an up, like updating this blueprint and then revisiting it in the future to see but that's this is something i will be honest uh this doing this sh uh, flat ride in shop along with maryland and her adventures that you'll see um down the road both were really boxy and i just put i, I did something similar with maryland's where i just put flowers you know i had a really dope sign and then i just put flowers on the in front of the, the building but it just meh you know and i really like to once i get some other projects done i really want to challenge myself in the future to make better facades that's that is one of my weak areas in the game is you know i can do really cool basic shape you know and i can theme shops pretty darn good and i can do interiors and scenes but then i fall short with like making the entrance to a ride you know like appealing and make it look theme parkish and stuff so so yeah you know and and that's okay you know i, I i'm not supposed to be perfect you know 100 percent perfect right this second and it gives me something to look forward to as i continue playing this game that i love and so so yeah moving on though so yeah it's i didn't like that it was i i couldn't think of anything on how to make a facade and uh, and and kind of just cover up this this building, make it look <laughs> less how it is. I, you know, I do not to make excuses. I didn't know where this would be placed. And oh, let me back up. This this was made for the Realm of Rhymes collaboration. You've seen the other shops that I've done, the Old King Cole's uh, shop and the Muffin Man and Five Fat Sausages. And this was one of the flat rides and shops that I did, but I had no idea where it would go. To, so it's, it's hard for me to visualize if I'm making something for a collab or for a, co you know, for a collab to, you know, if I don't know where it's going to be, then I, I kind of feel insecure as far as like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why I do that, but I do. <laughs> so, but that's honestly, if I'm, I'm being honest, those are the two things that I don't like about this is just basically the lack of a, a really cool appealing facade and this kind of whatever shape this is. <laughs> But other than that, there are a lot of positives that I do love about it. I, like I said before, I, I do love the lettering and the, the sign of this. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, I just, I'm tickled with these lights. Let me turn it to dark really quick. And so I covered up these, hang on. This is the Victorian lamp post. And this is what it looks like. And so I just put basic shapes over this. So yeah, I really like these lamp posts, and tickled with how they came up, and they represent each of the three little pigs. I do like the cue for this for the flat ride. You know, it this kind of remind me of some of the uh, Disneyland outside theme, the cues outside of the flat rides for a lot of rides at Disneyland, and how they kind of go back and forth. And then they go inside of the show building. And then here's some of the, you know, I took the lamps up, like the little heads and put them on here, but these are lights too. And it's kind of the other thing too, because I was concerned about piece count. I am, um, it, it is, it's boring in here other than these cute little lamps. You know, I, I uh, if this was in a park file and not a blueprint, I'd probably chass this, I, well, not probably, I would, have jazzed this up a lot more but you know it is what it is but yeah so I cute little lamps in here and we come back outside get onto the ride and this is a Montley on this is the first time I think I used this ride what I like about this is um and I've seen like I've ridden this in in real life on fairs and sometimes they'll have like a little curtain and you go back behind the scene and they have like a little 
you know, some, like a scene behind here. Anyhow, I like seeing at Planet Coaster what people have done where from the outside you see the ride and then you go in here and ta-da! You have a scene. So I put, you know, the three little pigs, the story of the three little pigs, seeing as this was going in the realm of rhymes and the other collaborators in the uh, park in the in the project we're doing stories uh, someone did like James and the Giant Peach and a lot of really fun cool little nursery rhymes and stories so I took the three little pigs and we have this cute guy and I did all the basic shapes I did these pigs I did the big bad wolf but uh, I have him he made his house out of straw or hay and then the next little pig who made his house out of sticks or wood. And the last uh, little pig who made his house out of bricks. And there's my smiley face that I forgot to put in some of my <laughs> previous blueprints. This little garden, I had just done um, the flat ride for that that's attached to Marilyn and her adventures that is in the Bedtime Rituals uh, mini park. And in I did a little scene in the uh, Tender Shepherd flat ride of a little garden. And so I took these same little carrots and repurposed them in here for this cute pig. And then we have the Big Bad Wolf too. And I'll turn this on so you can see Hopefully you see the trigger work. I like the trigger work. Hopefully it. As soon as you ride it, he should start huffing and puffing. I might have to speed up the video. <laughs> there he goes. He's huffing and he's puffing. And look at all that smoke and hot air coming out of him. <laughs> and I try to get like the debris going on. Yeah. And oh yeah, I put little triggers for this house, and I think I put little triggers in this one. Yep, yeah, baby. <laughs> so this is part of like yeah. I was really happy about this that this turned out really cute. <laughs> All right, turn it off. And I want yeah, a big shout out to the amazing. Planko artist Rohana. Uh, I was struggling for how to do clouds. Like, you know, I, I can do some 3D clouds, but it just didn't seem to fit. And I didn't want them like bulky out, like, th you know, sticking out because it, I don't know, it just didn't seem right. And she told me about one of her flat rides that she had done and how to make the, uh, the clouds flat. So I checked out her flat ride that she had made and her, like the clouds are flat and then, then I was like oh okay I get what you're saying and it was perfect her advice of having the clouds be flat and not 3d but more of a 2d it just it set the, it's more of like a little scene and it was it was perfect so I really appreciate her advice and tips in helping me because that was it halted me <laughs> until I could figure it out but yeah so uh, when you are when you get off the ride you exit off of here and you kind of, oh no, maybe you don't. Oh yeah, you exit right here. Go on out. But yeah, it's a cute little themed flat ride. My, this is, I want to say, okay, hang on. It's just so I don't make a liar. This is my third flat ride that I've made, that I had made up to this point. The first being We All Smile in the Same Language, which y'all have seen. And... Christmas Under the Sea was my second one that y'all have seen. It's on my channel. And this is the third flat right that I themed. So yeah, this is my third blueprint, or this is my third flat right that I've made in the game. And really happy with other than what I had talked about. And I also wanted to do a, you have the three little pigs ride right here. And it's all about the three little pigs even though you have the big bad wolf huffing and puffing and, you know, telling the story. But I really wanted to have, I saw this really cool idea. There is a real life shop somewhere in the United States called Big Bad Wolf's Barbecue. And I'm like, oh, 
I've got to recreate this for the Big Bad Wolf and have it go along with this ride. However, you know, <laughs> the poor guy, he's just hungry. He's just trying to find some pigs. Who doesn't like bacon? Come on, y'all. So, <laughs> I didn't want him to be the villain. You know, I, I, so, he's not the villain. <laughs> but Harry, I recreated this sign and basically kind of used him from the ride too. You've got the menu. I'll pause it here. I won't read it, but you guys can pause it and read what's on the menu. And this was, I took this from the menu uh, of the shop that I recreated. I mean, I'm, I mean, the shop doesn't look like this, but like I, I was inspired from the shop. Let's say that. And here you have the Big Bad Wolf <laughs> barbecuing. And I had to make this huge. Yeah, I had to make this quite larger to accommodate the big basic shape Big Bad Wolf. You can see another smiling, little hidden smiley face there. What I loved about this though too. Okay, so here, uh, best Big Bad Wolf ever. That's thanks to the amazingly talented TMTK artist, An Angela Neer. Thank you so much for making this for me for this little creation. Oh my gosh. All right. In a Channel 5 World's Fair shop contest, in my bracket, uh, Blubber made the funniest, worst, oh my gosh, I've got to find it. The inside of what I'm about to show you was heavily inspired from the amazing Hans Worst Butcher Shop that Blubber made in the Channel 5 Gaming World's Fair Shop Contest. And I will link that video. It's in my playlist of um, my stuff being featured by other people, but I'll link it again. I'll link it in the description because it is so freaking funny and just, I love it. It stands, it holds up to this day. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I gotta, you know, <laughs> I, I did this so that Blubber, it, it'd make Blubber laugh and smile. And here you have <laughs> the pigs. <laughs> kind of gruesome. It is kind of gruesome, but yeah. <laughs> Here's where they're being smoked and cooked. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of gruesome, but I don't know. I found it really funny to do, and uh, yeah. So this is, you know, it now. Yeah, there's no interior to this shop. You come up here and order your food, and you've got your menus on both sides, and you can come over here and take a look. But other than that, it's it's pretty easy peasy, not too complicated. But I thought that these two worked together quite well. <laughs> what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, with this blueprint, I had grown with the basic shapes and creativity, but kind of still bombing with the boxy shapes and lack of facades. So it's not 50-50, but... You know, this was oh, my stop on my Planet Coaster journey, and I look forward to sharing this with you guys later with an updated facade. But yeah, I'm, I'm, there's a lot more that I'm, I'm proud of with this blueprint, and the things that I'm not too proud of, it's just fired me on to sooner or later overcome that challenge, and you know, continue striving to learn and grow in this fun game called Planet Coaster. And thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next video, peace, love, and blessed be.